I'm Dan Ackerman, senior editor at CNET.com, and we are here taking a look at Intel's new Classmate PC. Now, this guy looks familiar. That's because we took a look at the original Classmate PC last year. The new Classmate manages to fit in just about the same footprint as the old one, even though instead of a 7-inch screen, we've now got a 9-inch screen, even though it has the same kind of low 800 by 480 resolution. You also get an upgraded keyboard and touchpad, and there's even a webcam built into the new one. On the older Classmate, you had either a 2 or 4-gig solid-state hard drive, which is uh, very trendy and cool, but on the new one, you can get the solid-state version, or you can get a much more practical 30-gig, just regular laptop hard drive. Like the original classmate, the new one is designed for educational markets. It's built very ruggedly. They say the sweet spot is kids ages 6 to 12, even though I wouldn't mind uh, rocking the coffee shop with it. Uh, it's got two USB ports. It's got an SD card slot. It's even got Wi-Fi built in and, of course, a handy leather carrying handle you know, for taking it to class. Now, Intel doesn't build these things directly. What they do is they make a reference design, and then third-party manufacturers in different regions, they build them for those specific markets. So you could get different software loadouts depending on where you are. We kind of like this version, which has Windows XP and Microsoft Office on it. So when these are finally available, they should be about 400 bucks, depending on the configuration. And we've already seen ideas from mini notebooks like this creep into the consumer market. Uh, the best example, of course, being the super popular Asus EPC. I'm Dan Ackerman, and this is Intel's revamped, revised Classmate PC.